Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So today I thought I'd share with you what's in my makeup bag. And the makeup bag I have is this one here. It's really lovely, it's sort of this blush pink faux leather um, with a sort of a creamy white bow. I got this from Primark and it's beautiful. I really, really love it. And it's really big so it ho holds a lot of stuff, um, which is great. But you know, you have to be careful with how much stuff you have in here because you could end up having everything in your kitchen sink. But for traveling and everything like that, it's really great. And um, because it is so big, you can, and it opens really super wide, um, it's so easy just to kind of rummage around and find exactly what you want. So I really like it for that purpose. So I basically thought I would go through in kind of the order I do my face and show you what's in my makeup bag. So first off, I have my Berminals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Um, I really like it for every day. It's just this really beautiful, um, luminous, sheer coverage um, tinted gel cream. I'm wearing it today. And for every day, I, just, I don't really like looking like I've got makeup on. So um, cream products like this, like tinted moisturizers, are my go-to. And this particular one, um, I have been really loving. And I'm wearing it... Uh, I wear the colour Natural 05, um, really beautiful and very hydrating so I love that. And then I go into concealer under my eyes and I've been using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age um, Concealer, the Eraser Eye Concealer. I really like it, very light again, um, I basically just sort of sweep it under my eyes in sort of a V shape, um, really brightens your face and hiding dark circles and actually I've been using this kind of on and off on any other areas of my face just when I get a little bit lazy but this is really great for under the eyes and it's got this sort of sponge applicator not my favourite because obviously um, difficult to clean so it can be a little bit um, unhygienic but I just really use it under my eyes so it doesn't really bother me um, but yes this is, this is a lovely one very brightening um, and I've been loving it. You can see I've used quite a lot. So yes, that's my under eye concealer. For face concealers, I have two. I've got the Radiance Reveal Concealer from Bourjois. Um, really lovely, again, very, very creamy. And this has got great coverage and it's actually great for both under the eyes and on spots. But this is what I use sort of on the rest of my face on any kind of blemishes. And again, this is in 02 Beige. And the other one is my Chanel my very trusty <laughs> Chanel concealer um, and it, this is the Corrector Perfection concealer and as you can see I've almost run out of it but this is really lovely, very very creamy, um, lasts a long time and covers sort of any kind of blemish that you'd want so really great um, for day and night and this is probably my go-to especially if I'm going to like a day event or something, uh, yes yeah, so I love this one and the bourgeois as well. Great, great uh, concealers. If you look in the market for a new concealer, then I'd really check these out. Then I tend to go in with my eyes, and um, if I want to wear some eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis, I've been using this Morph palette. Um, they're really nice eyeshadows, very, very natural, very neutral. So for on a day-to-day -day basis, I might just sweep this one across my eyelid or this one um, if I want a little bit of shimmer, and then I use this one as like a highlight under my brow bone. Um, yeah, beautiful products, and then if I want a sort of a really soft eyeliner, if I've got time, then I'll use um, one of these ones down the bottom. They're really beautiful palette, really buttery eyeshadows, um, and they last a long time, really creamy, blend well. Yeah, I really recommend these, these are lovely. For liquid liner I have two, I've got the L'Oreal Super Liner, um, which is really lovely if you want a really thin line, um, then this is great, it's a felt tip pen. Uh, really super black, lasts a long time. And then the other one is my Ico eyeliner, um, and this is slightly thicker, so if I want a slightly more dramatic look, then I'll use this one. Um, both great, because they're both um, felt tips, super easy to draw on, and so I don't have to spend time doing my eyeliner. And yeah, these are great, and they last a long time. Now for mascara, I'm um, slightly fickle with my mascaras. I'm not really loyal to one particular brand, um, so I have four, four here. One, my first one is the Falsies Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. Um, really love this one if you want a really dramatic eye look. Um, then this gives a really lovely sort of doll-eyed effect to uh, to your lashes. Really dramatic. And then 
For a slightly lighter look, I have the Max Factor False Lash Epic Mascara. I tend to use this one more every day. Um, just, it's sort of slightly more fluttery. It still gives you that sort of really long, dramatic um, sort of look to your lashes, cause, um, and, but it's this one's a uh, plastic bristle brush in comparison to the Maybelline, which is a sort of a traditional brush. Um, as you can see, I'll show you. Sort of a, a proper bristle brush, and it's got the sort of um, bowed effect in the middle, so you can really kind of get into your lashes. These two are um, my go-to for sort of really quick looks. And then for, if I've got slightly more time, I will use the False Lash Sculpt Mascara. I have a blog post on this. It's really, really great. If you want sort of really lengthening, volumizing mascara then um, that does everything than this one, this is really, really good. But you have to be a little bit careful. It does go slightly more clumpy than the other ones. So um, I tend to, I mean, I love really big dramatic um, lashes anyway, but this is the sort of one I'd probably use more in the evening than during the day. Um, and it's got this very interesting sort of plastic bristle brush. Um, but yes, as I said, I've got a blog post on this one, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. And then if I'm, you know, wanting a waterproof mascara, then my go-to is my YSL Fafo Seal. This is like a holy grail one of mine. This is the one I wore on my wedding. It's a traditional bristle brush, lasts all day, Volume and lengthening mascara, absolutely love it. And again, the packaging is gorgeous. So yes, this is a very special mascara, I love it. For my cheeks, I have two um, go-to blushes. This is the Illuminating Face Powder from Milani, but because it's quite pink toned, um, I can I build this up sort of more as a blush. Um, really like it, very easy to wear, and it's quite um, sheer initially, but you can really build the build the product up and it just gives this really subtle glow to your skin. Really, really beautiful. And then for the other one, if I'm wanting a slightly brighter um, cheek look, it's one I'm wearing today, it's the, this gorgeous Chanel, Chanel uh, blush and this one is in the colour 67 Chamade, Chamade, Chamade. I'm not quite sure <laughs> um, how to pronounce it, but I'll have a link down below. Really beautiful. This one you have to be really careful with because it's so bright that a little goes a very long way, but it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. Really like it, really brightening. Uh, again, I wore this on my wedding, so, you know, I have a soft spot for it. And um, the Milani face powder was in 03's Beauty Touch. Yeah. So yes, those are my go-to blushes. And then for bronzer, um, I use the Hoola by Benefit. This is, I'm sure you've already heard of this. It's loved by so many different people. Um, a lovely matte bronzer, so I can, I go around sort of the, my th the in the three um, shape around my forehead, across my cheeks, and then just under my chin to kind of slim my jawline down. Um, yes, really lovely. And it's this, I don't use the brush, but the uh, powder itself is just a matte, so, um, you know, you don't look too glowy, because um, I, I have quite a glowy uh, blush anyway, and I had highlighter, so I have quite like a matte bronzer. Um, and it's great to contour with as well, because it is matte, so you can really kind of chisel your cheekbones if you like that kind of look. For brows, I have the Maybelline Brow Precise um, sort of brow mascara, and this is lovely. It's a deep brown, but and it's got sort of fibres in it, so um, I really like a kind of really natural brow look. And this, you know, does just that. It's a tiny, tiny uh, little pronged brush that you sort of can really define your brows with. And it, they, it, because it's a gel, it kind of holds your brows in place at the same time. So a really sort of quick go-to brow look, which I love. And then to set my brows in place, I use the Pixi Clear Gel Mascara um, for your brows. And this again, just, you know, it's just a little wand. You just brush through your brows, holds them in place. Great, it doesn't feel crispy or anything. Looks very natural. So yes, that's what I use on my brows. And then um, for my highlight, I have the Becca Hill um, Highlighter Moonstone. I absolutely love this. It's sort of my holy grail. Um, highlighters, it's so beautiful. Um, you can, I just literally put it on the tops of my cheekbones, maybe down the centre of my nose on my cupid's bow. 
really really beautiful absolutely love it um a little goes a very long way so yes i make sure to blend this in but it's so stunning really really beautiful for lip products i have the laura mercier liquid lipstick in the color uh petal pink it's a really beautiful matte um lip product it's um really creamy it doesn't dry my lips out it's the one i'm wearing today and it's really really lovely so this is the one i've been going to um goes with loads of different outfits so yes i love this one and that is everything that's in my makeup bag so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're new um and anything that i've mentioned that i can link, link in the description box below will be in the description box below so do go check them out um i've got a couple of products listed on my blog so if you want a closer look at them then please go do check that out that's www.namelily.com and you'll also find a few fashion posts and some few recipe posts on there so i'd love it if you go check it out and anyway for now i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye guys